What is going on ladies and gentlemen? You should have seen the YouTube shorts because they should have come out before this video. But this is proof of purchase right here, which we're going to talk about. On the 25th of the 5th, 2024, at exactly 2.06 in the afternoon, I was able to per purchase the Star Wars Ambush on Mandalore for £20 and the Star Wars Y-Wing Microfighter for £12. I paid £32 in total and I do not want to name this place because they are a great toy shop and they often have early set releases, which if you don't know anything about that, quick little fact check for you. It's basically a thing that they call street date, which means obviously certain companies don't want certain products going on to sale for the general public until like a quote unquote release date, which I think is pretty daft. If a shop has gotten the product in stock, they should be able to start selling it. Like they're hurting nobody by selling these a little bit early. These, however, are a week early. They're out very, very early. And I even saw a set in there that wasn't within my interest, but it was a Speed Champion set that's meant to be out in July, and it was already on shelves in that shop. So that was pretty cool. But basically, we've gotten the Ambush on Mandalore on the left, and we've gotten the Y-Wing on the right, and both of these two sets are very interesting. Starting out on the Ambush on Mandalore set, we have the brand new Imperial Commando Trooper, which is an awesome little minifigure. Also comes with this new unique backpack, with that special brick on the back as well. Now, none of these characters come with printed faces, which is the only letdown in this set. I wish the Mandalorians had unique faces, and I wish these two guys just had some Stormtrooper faces underneath instead of the black underneath, but also an arm print wouldn't go amiss, um, and a bit of maybe side leg printing, because it kind of goes like really flat colored on the side, but the chest, looking at the detail on the chest, very nice, I like that a lot. And the leg printing is actually not too bad either. But it's the helmet that really stands out to me. Like a classic sort of Stormtrooper is coming through there. But it's also looking very cool and very sleek at the same time. I like it a lot. It's a really cool figure. And I definitely could see a lot of people picking this set up to get multiple army builders. Currently, like I said, it was coming out for $19.99. So I'd definitely give it a month or two. And you'll see them in the likes of Smith's Game and Argos. Ridiculously cheaper you'll definitely be able to get three or four of these sets to army build with. Normally Argos has like a two for 20 or a two for 10. So wait wait for that. Don't go to Lego and buy it day one. Just wait and you'll definitely pick this up for much cheaper. The Mandalorians are good as well. Just showing you this Night Owl one. This is our generic sort of female Mandalorian. Like that sort of helmet shine, little bit of battle wear on her. It's nice. Again, we get this cool chromed out, like sort of dark gray, shiny backpacks. I like that. I like that a lot for a figure. It looks pretty cool. He's falling down. And then we've got obviously our generic Mandalorian Warrior. He's pretty cool too. And the cool thing about this set is that it's meant to go side by side with the Paz Vizsla and Moff Gideon Battle. That's also going to come out on June 1st. All of these sets come out June 1st, or should do. And we've got them early. So it means we've got these sets on display in our collection before the Lego stores do, which is pretty nice. I like that feeling. But most importantly, this build will attach to the Moss Gideon battle. And that one wasn't in store, otherwise we would have picked that one up as well. They also had Luke's uh, mech, which is pretty cool. But again, that doesn't interest me too much, so I didn't pick that one up. Now I was arguing on about this Y-Wing build. So the Captain Rex's Y-Wing, a lot of controversy involving this particular minifigure. Now, spoiler alert, you do not get two Rexes. I've just done this for, this, for the display. But you, this Rex is very significant because he comes in the very expensive... Venator set that came out last year 700 and something pound that retails for you can get it a little bit cheaper on Smiths and Argos obviously um, But he's a controversial figure because he came in that very expensive set and now he's here in like an 11 pound set Call that what you will. I think that's kind of sound not lying. I've gone out and bought really expensive sets I feel like a lot of people would agree if you're gonna buy a really expensive set It shouldn't just be for a minifigure It should also be because you genuinely like that set and you want it in your collection um, the minifigure is just a sweet bonus. And I believe, personally, the stance I'm going to take on this, uh, I believe it's fair that this minifigure comes out in a much more affordable set because it's not fair that, say, there's a lot of young Star Wars fans. There's a lot of old Star Wars fans and they might not have such incredible budgets to buy, like, 800, 700 pound sets. So it's nice for the average LEGO collector or average LEGO fan to be able to go out and purchase a Rex for literally pocket money, which is a nice little pocket money set. 
what I've done here is uh, this is the this is the helmet from the original old Rex, his old pauldron, and under here is his old face and his old arms. But it's on the new Rex's body and the new Rex's legs. And the reason I've done that is because I don't want to lose those parts and pieces. But when we take this new version of Rex, it's the old Rex body, the old Rex legs, the uh, old Rex, not pauldron, but the old reg, the legs pauldron at the back here. I like the body, the legs, and the pauldrons on the old figure more than the new figure. And this one is pretty cool because it's got the new helmet, it's got the new arms, which are probably my favourite part of that figure. It's got those brand new arms. And these are Brick Forge pistols, they're not from Lego. They're just custom built ones. But I made my own original Rex now because I've mixed and matched the two together. But yeah, I think it's good that Lego released this set because I think they should do that for a lot of stuff. Obviously they can't do it for everything. Like the Hocus Pocus set, £200. It would be nice if the Hocus Pocus had a smaller wave of sets so that you could collect the witches, for example, for a little bit cheaper. But Lego does weird things. They they don't always listen to fans and they can't always listen to fans. Star Wars fans especially, we get the worst treatment. But I think this year they've actually done pretty well. The company's done pretty well. Now that doesn't mean you should go to a store and pay full price and it doesn't mean you should go and in you know, waste all your money buying things day one. I've been a big fan of that, of, uh, of that new mindset of waiting for a while and taking your time to see what price drops happen. There's a lot of the January stuff, a lot of the February stuff that are already seeing incredible discounts. And that's one thing I'm going to take on the chin moving forwards is to not buy things day one, unless I've got like an ungodly amount of points saved up and I'm, I'm ready to go and grab something day one with my points. I'm definitely not going to go and grab things day one in cash anymore. That's one thing I'm going to try and avoid. Because just as a Lego collector of so many years, it's very easy to waste a lot of your money on these day one sets. Because one thing that is for sure, they're getting more expensive and every single month we're getting new sets. So it's an ever ending cycle of just constantly spending your own money. So I definitely think if you are a fan of Lego and you're going to continue to purchase many sets, it's probably within your best interest to look at Argos, Game, Smiths and try and avoid getting things day one really. Once you get out of that cycle, you'll start saving a hell of a lot more money and you'll still end up with Lego. Like I didn't go and get these day one, I got these earlier than day one and I'm pretty chuffed about that. That's made me pretty excited. So yeah, look look at buying your Lego from elsewhere, look at other retailers. It's a really cool shout and it's a good, it's a good bit of advice that I've decided to take on the chin and learn this year. So I can pass it on to you guys. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this little minifigure and set review. Uh, I have got a big video planned for June 1st and we're going to talk more about that then. But yeah, if you like this type of content, like and subscribe. If you're watching this on the main channel, you can also go to the second channel, which is a Lego based channel. And I'll leave that in the description down below. But yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.